All right, guys, wanted to do a Chiron video. I think he is super underrated as a hunter. Um, not necessarily because of any one specific matchup, but because he kind of handles every matchup pretty well. Bear took a bad trade, but I've got double pot pots and a Chiron passive. And he's got this awful balance blade. It's good for pen though. We will not let him get um, blue at the start. I'm just kind of getting uh, what you get for being a hunter right now um, in Jewel, which is an insane lead off Griffin Wing, being so powerful as it is. Okay, you can't beat... Oh, okay, just got him. You cannot be eating all your meteors like that. Pop the multi pot to get this. I did get the two kills. It doesn't, it's not actually that amazing for me, but obviously it's good. Um, just because he will be able to get a buff no matter what here. He might not be able to get the red. Okay, so the thing Chiron has going for him more than any other hunter is his movement speed. He has the highest base movement speed of any god in the game outside of Mercury. So uh, it kind of lets you play matchups um, in kind of an exploitative way, I'd say. Bump him in my creeps. And we do just have the full Griffin, so we can easily poke him out. Just quickly cut for the wave there and just, um, I'll, I'll get the rock and then I think I can invade his blue with it, the scepter. Maybe I'll look for some poke first. Actually, no, he's just got assy. Let's just go get it. Clear speed's insane with scepter. Get out for free there. I don't know really what his ult was. Semi defensive, semi aggressive. Septum being really good. I mean, I could even greed to level 10 here if I want. pick up that blue as well if I want and since uh, Devo is the only thing I can afford I'll get that too I think it's uh it's totally fine to do that but with the assy nerf and the Devo's buff it's totally fine to go Devo's these days even though it's a very early game centric meta Just all the wave so he loses as much as possible. I probably should have ran the ran the wave in, disabled his tower, but I won't actually it's just so he loses a little a little more. But yeah, 
bit of a Devo's moment there with a lot of other attack speed items. I mean, life shield items, I'd actually out-trade him really hard. But yeah, another, um, like, Chiron moment where he'll never, he'll never be able to run me down. I think his minions give me Devo stacks, so I don't really mind that. So much healing going on. I'll be able to get red for sure. If he's not just dead to minions, I'd be surprised. Tree tower. on a warpath. He's gonna miss so many creeps here. I shouldn't troll though. I'll get XE since it's the best um, best versus his all his healing that he's got as Serta. He shouldn't even be able to get away from me here without ulting. Oh, never mind. He, he backed up. I am just faster than him, so... By just a tiny bit. I'll grab fire. I absolutely one-shot him with Hexy now, so... Okay, so I should have a really good power spike here too. It will not be up in time. <laughs> Get these minions out of here, dude. Might need one more back here. Yeah, I will. I'll just back and uh, be able to end the game with Oboe. Against a... Uh, if the Serta was less behind, I think Beads would actually be probably pretty correct. Just so I could Beads his one stun and then like all in him basically. Sweet. Turned into a little bit of a speed run there. The Serto just couldn't do anything. Crazy XE tier 2 start. I mean, it's strong in an all-out fight, but it's so weak for sustain compared to other items, so... I think, uh, I think if you're playing Assassins or Warriors and not going for a hammer start, there's probably... You're going to have a really bad early game. 
All right, guys, Chiron game number two. Um, so a big deal with Bastet, and he's got a million stars. A big deal with Bastet is... Um, not letting her get a good start. Obviously, I didn't give her the... Didn't give myself the best start there, but... Um, she's two pots down. If she goes for blue, I'll, I have to follow her. Um, now I'll just grab red. Obviously, great, great situation there. Didn't, um, couldn't have gone really, better for me, really. If she gets blue now, that's fine. I've, I've got a kill on her, you know. I just needed to make sure that something good happens to me at the start. Level my one again, just so I can run around and clear things quick. If I have a good start, then I can get the first meteor. And if I get the first meteor, then Bastet's three gets really bad. Yeah, I want to contest everything. I want to make her life as difficult as possibly can. At this rate, I think I will be getting the Meteor very easily. I save my skill and look for poke here. got all three stacks of my passive here, so I'm obviously uh, really, really powerful. Still, the first rock is basically the most important against fast deck because it all like cycles and it turns into more rocks. And she's gone for a super greedy transcendence. Obviously, once she's got full transcendence stacks and a full meditation, then she's really hard to deal with, but we kind of don't want to let her get to that point without being really far behind. It's just a hunter, you just have access. Good. Tower line poking, exactly what we want. She missed me and the wave. Perfect. She made an extremely massive mistake. She was always already going to have to avoid a lot of my... Um, a lot of my ults there, but she just kind of died. I'll keep buying as much damage as I humanly can, um, just so I'm as strong as I can be. After she gets Breastplate Tier 1 or 2, she'll be much harder to deal with. Might be on blue here, which I think would be a totally fine result for me. He didn't do either, okay. Interesting. Choice. The blue's up and there's no point in not griefing her. That was maybe more risky than it needed to be, but... The snowball has been mounted.
Definitely a Crimson Claw and Joya kind of guy. I think it's slightly better than Assy. Not very much. Not to the point where um, it's a big deal. But I think very, very, very slightly it is better. The extra shield is very useful, you know, so. Maybe not in a game like this, but. I don't think that actually ma makes any difference, but Oh yeah, it does. Nice. her ult. That was a nice three ult by her. Obviously when I have my dash up it's never gonna be that good but she can kind of predict me and I didn't have beads so. I'll grab executioner and a potion. So with red buff and fire giant up uh, that should be the end of the game if I can just get both of them without making any Big mistakes. Kind of check Fire Giant a little bit there. She is nowhere to be found. She might be hiding. <laughs> is she in base? Oh, she got a po potion. I actually got to watch out a little bit. She can keep looking to poke me. The only thing is I've got lots and lots of sustain with my health pot. So I don't have to be too afraid. Perfect. She wanted the all in with a red pot. This is the perfect. This is why I think transcendence is one of the worst starts you can make right now. You do not stack it quick enough in the high velocity meta that, that, that's going on right now. On best air, I'd advise something like Rune Forge that procs off the three, or um, like something like Blackthorn maybe, or just Jotun's Rush. I think is totally fine too. All right. Third game of Chiron. We're against Gilgamesh, who's kind of like the king of warriors right now. At least a lot of people are playing him. There's a lot of good things to him. Um, one is that when he hits level 5, he gets a tier 1 item for free, which at the minimum is something like 400 gold, unless you get Bauble, which would be very unlucky. Um, and there's other things going for him too. He gets a lot of HP 5 for ha just having his 1. Got to focus on interrupting his two when he does that. Though it didn't go on cooldown, which is a little bit sad. We were never going to back there, really. Oh, 
So yeah, a fine start. Nothing to write home about, but um, we overall won it. And we got the red, so I'm not going to complain. He will probably start my back here, though. Uh-oh, I missed him, which is no good. Luckily, he took uh, a couple tower shots there, but obviously that was no good either. He had blinks, which is a little interesting to me, but... He did not buy anything. He should have at least got a chalice on his back, I think. I like putting three points in the one just because Chiron doesn't have the best clear early game. Kind of just completely fixes it. I'm just going to sit around for the rock. It's really important to deny a character like Gilgamesh, who's probably his biggest weakness is clear speed early game so outside of his ult which is really good for um, creep clear he he really struggles you know we're about 300 gold up he has not picked up his passive yet so we're probably not up at all after his passive but that, that's fine we can, it would be really good to drop this after like around 29 seconds on red so that I can definitely pick this up if I want to. Okay, he picked up his passive. I tried there, but that's okay. I will I will go ahead and focus on focus on getting the blue. Interesting. Very weird that he chased me there. I think he maybe overrated how strong he was. And get the movement speed before backing. I'd really love to not lose the rock. The good news is he used his ult too, so... There is a chance. Into the towers, really good. Crossbounds obviously are, are, are beating when. Uh... Oh, I really meant to hit in there. Nice. Okay, I won that too. Let's make sure I kill that um, brute minion. with my ult there just so he can't use it or it won't hit me while I'm killing him. Just use the scepter to clear and I can contest blue here. He hasn't go gone and cleared his minions, so just wait for cooldowns a little bit. And we've destroyed his mental game. Love to see that. He had a lot of HP 5 there. I probably shouldn't have taken that fight, to be honest, with uh, only a tier 2. But I was really far ahead of him with a buff on him. All right, guys, another game with Chiron. I did let Ullar open. Um, which I'm feeling okay about. Obviously, very, very strong character, but I'm going to see how it goes. Minions have 
think we don't want to poke too much before the waves meet. Just maybe back him off so he can't get a skill on the wave. Very happy with that trade. He doesn't have Chiron passive. He has Shell though, so that's something. But he's very weak on sustain. I'm not going to do the blue. I don't think. Maybe I could have done it in time. I think I'll just chill. Actually, I'll, I'll clear another. It's kind of awkward now, but... doesn't have blue so happy to kind of just poke him out and back maybe goal is to keep my uh, keep my blue here There is a chance he can get it. The scepter is really good for it, so. No, he did not, in fact, get it. So I'll play for, uh, I'll just play for wave clear and blue after. <clears throat> no chester here. Okay, nice. I got the, I got two of the chesters. Put that there. I'm really happy with uh, where all of that is. I don't want to eat too much poke here. I say after eating a lot of poke. He's just got so much chalice value here. And that's what you get for not buying a uh, health chalice, really. I, I did greet the, the Chesters, but if I had a health chalice, I think it wouldn't have mattered. Kind of all my fault. I just wanted to make sure he didn't get blue, but... Actually really far behind, despite the first blood. Now that feels bad. I should have got the blue. Th th that would have fixed everything. If I got stole his blue after I killed him. But now he's going to have mana on me if we fight. Just 
gonna go ahead and run to the red and get it. Maybe we could have played for a kill if we horrific him before he jumped. I actually should have horrific him right away no matter what. I think that would have been the play. There's actually no sense in staying there, so another mistake that I made. I have to back quite far so that the Ulla long range axe doesn't get me. I could have got Devos plus a red pot, but I, I think against Ulla that makes absolutely no sense. He did fire, that's crazy to me, but... If you can do it, it's usually worth it to do it. And now it makes my spot really hard because I have to... I have to deal with his sustain basically all the time. Oh yeah, he's actually a tear ahead of me here, but I have red, so could be worse. I do want to grab this um, blue if I can get it. Very sad that <clears throat> I didn't have my two up for that, but um, it's not too bad. I sh he used his shell. Well, back. I'm gonna get a red pot. He probably he'll either finish the berserkers or get a red pot himself. Either way, my my red pot should bridge the, bridge the gap. I'll just run this way, I think. He has a red pot on him, so I'll chill. Okay, I'm probably gonna die eventually. I won't juke for his three. He did not chase which I find interesting, but that's probably a Chiron movement speed thing. We're actually going to poke back in because he zoomed. That's very sad. He's got blink, so that's the kind of thing that surprised us there, but what he doesn't have is wing shards still. Because I was ready to, I was ready to cleanse his axe, but he actually like ate my cooldown and stunned me anyway. I think it'd be an interesting choice to go for, to go for um, phalanx, honestly. But I don't think it'd be quite worth it. So I want executioner, I think. I could get brawlers. I think that would be totally fine. I'm not going to win that trade, sadly. He's just way ahead of me on damage. Um, 
<clears throat> I'm surprised. He, I guess the red buff makes a lot of difference. I thought I could maybe turn on him with the uh, creeping curse, but it wasn't even close. So yeah, I, th I think I just mis mismanaged the early game. I killed him and I didn't get far enough ahead. He actually got blue to blue, um, even with the kill. So game's kind of chalked off that, in my opinion. I'll go... Fa I'll go Boomerang first and then Fatalis. Well, no, Boomerang, Pen, and Fatalis. And that's the best shot I'm going to have, really. But I don't think I can win, really. I just feel like I'm super out damaged and uh, I didn't make good enough use of the early game given I had like a, a better early game than him. Still got a shield after doing fire, sadly. Yeah, the damage difference is just so insane. I'll go boomerang so I have movement speed. Merlin, please no. So we're going to deal with a lot of cooldown soon, but that's kind of par for the course. Well, I do have bells. I bet they hear me coming from Your Titan's under attack. Too bad, he's too fast. The fastest character in the game cannot keep up with Ola. Fastest ADC in the game, I should say. And base movement wise, I should say. They basically have to all in him uh, as soon as they can, but. I don't think I can. I don't think I got the damage. Why is this not I think Xy would be a bigger deal than um, than a red pot if I can get there, but he should really end the game right now. I don't know really what he's waiting for. Well, I do have bells. I bet they hear me coming for miles. Gonna get the red. 
guess I'll go for a little, um... Oh, I could go XE upgrade. I think I should get a pot, though. So I have some semblance of damage. Be bad. Yeah, I, I had to, I had to take his blue after I killed him um, behind his tower. That would have been 100% the right choice. I'd have denied the other as blue, which would have really owned him too. All right, last Chiron game probably. I switched it up to a little um, thorns as my relic. Gonna hold on a little bit. Okay, so he's got um, one less multi pot than me, one more health pot. Don't mind that. Kern is really good on mana sustain, though. That's like one of his bigger strengths. So. That was a weird uh, shard by him. It was also weirdly played by me too. My two just ran out of, on the minions as I used them. So he's three pots down, so am I. Oh, I forgot I, I don't have to cancel my three to pot my two anymore. So we both haven't used anything. I might not level my ult here. I might just level my one for better clear. Yeah, I wanted to kind of fake a dash there. Try to make him blink a little bit. slow him just so that um, he doesn't get any creeps. He's going to go to my blue, but I think that's totally fine. Might be able to go to his blue. If not, it is what it is. Okay, yeah, I think I can chase him to his blue here. His ult is down. that he went to push. Maybe he's just wanting to... Very close to a kill if uh, if he made one more foul step there. Oh, he's staying. Very interesting. I 
I will go for the ult here. Uh oh, that was really bad. Dropped a big kill there. I want to clear this in front of the tower here. And get the XP camp if I can. No, Chester is fine. Still got a really, uh, a really good start, but obviously absolutely criminal not to, uh, not to get the kill there. I'll, I'll just, uh, get a little tier one here since I think I can, um, afford it. Afford to do it and still get maybe like a lifesteal item on time as well. So there is a window here that he gets um, a full item and I don't. So I'm actually going to get the tier 2. Oh. Okay. That is... He's absolutely been flapjacked, mate. So I think I'm fine. Really not playing well from behind there by him. Surprised to see him do it, really. He just stepped up with no dash for a second. I did not need to ult, obviously. Am I far enough ahead that I should go Devos? I don't think that really exists. I think when you're ahead, you just double down on Crimson Claw. I think when you're even, there's an argument to going Devos. That's a shame he got that. That's a Conan Offs moment right there. Got a tower line in front here. Got a full Crimson Claw stack, so I'm just going to sit at blue and go for that. I might even try to auto him as he comes in. close. Glad my two uh, contributed to the damage. I do have defense on him though. This is going to be very hard for him to beat, to be honest. Just trying to make him lose some minions in gold. Red buff, you can be very abusive. You can be very stupid as well. You can kind of just run it down a little bit and everything works. Got a sweet Berserkers here. Um, definitely a pot. And uh, I don't think I need to go beads or anything. Beads late game would be very useful, but we're kind of happy with our thorns and wing shard for now. Did he go? Okay, sweet. He was a full tear down. He just couldn't do anything. I mean, playing from behind in an ADC mirror these days, even with, I'd, I'd add that Crimson Claw makes it even worse, but 
the whole item build path just makes it really hard to play from behind since it's so easy to stay ahead these days. All right, that's probably my full Chiron video. Um, hope you enjoyed um, the rundown. Definitely, in hindsight, Ulla seems to be a perma ban. His the threat of him stunning is really annoying, and then also just the fact that he can kind of stay at pace with Chiron with his movement speed kind of means that there's nothing you can do late game with Chiron, you know, to outplay the Ulla. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye bye.